Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nathan and this is Sioux Shrimp Readers. Since I have a lot of different kinds of shrimp and I have a lot of tanks with a variety of shrimp in each tank, I wanted to go over why I have my tanks set up this way and where I all got them from. This video is gonna be focused more on my Caradina shrimp since those are the ones that I've been crossbreeding the most. Where all my shrimp came from was a shrimp called a Tang Tai. And a Tang Tai is a tangerine tiger that was crossed with a Taiwan bee. And what you get from that is that shrimp called a tang tai. And then I took my tang tai that I got, which I think it was 12 to start with, and I crossed them back with some Taiwan bees. I happened to use some wine reds that I had. What I did with some of those offspring is I crossed those offspring back with pintos. And a lot of people would never do this, but I didn't really have that many shrimp in the beginning. So I thought, you know what? What kind of shrimp can I get from this? What I got from this was a pretty wide variety of species of Caradina. Now the offspring from these shrimp are going to be pintos or Taiwan bees, but the problem is is that some of them look so similar that they're hard to decipher between each other. After keeping all of these tanks for quite some time now, I do think that I can tell the difference between most of these two. Now some of these really are hard to decipher and when it comes down to those, I will put those in a separate tank of their own after I move. But as for now, I really don't mind continually getting a lot more pintos and a lot more Taiwan bees. I also have a tank of crystal red shrimp. I've had this specific colony for about three years now. They've been in this tank for I think around six to eight months. I'm not quite sure, but this tank has been thriving since I've set it up. What I would like to do in the future for my Caradina shrimp is after I move and I can set up say another 10 to 15 tanks, then I can start separating every species of shrimp and color into their own individual tanks. In this tank in particular, I have blue bolts, blue steels, red bolts, and red steels, and even some snowballs. So in order for me to breed each shrimp individually, I would need five tanks. What I've decided to do is just keep all of these shrimp together, uh, see what would happen. I was hoping for the best, and I guess it's really not that bad to keep these together because all I really get out of this tank is, is more of the same species. It just really does depend on what bred with what. My end goal for my shrimp room is to have every single shrimp from its own species to have its own tank. And I will achieve this eventually, but right now, I just don't have the space until after I move. I did want to talk a little bit about me selling shrimp. I have gotten a lot of emails and a lot of questions on Instagram or Facebook asking me if I ship shrimp. I did try to ship a couple of times and since the mail has not been very consistent for me, they almost didn't get to their destination and so I've been a little bit reluctant to ship any more shrimp. I do sell locally though. I sell everything that is on my website. I really do hope that all of you out there who are watching these videos get something from them and learn something from them. I really want everybody to, I guess, experience the sort of success that I've had with my shrimp keeping. And if I can do that through a video, then I guess that I'm doing my job as a YouTuber. I will eventually get more Neo Caradina also but I am unfortunately unable to breed those myself. All of the colors that you will see when it comes to Neo Caradina have to be specifically bred and not crossbred with each other. I've been spending most of my spare time fixing up my house. We are gonna be selling this house in the spring and the faster that I can get this house fixed up, the quicker I can build my new shrimp room in my new house. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and cheers.